What's going on guys and welcome to round three of the Game Cafe Premier Challenge held in Independence, Missouri. So we uh, had technical difficulties all day at the venue unfortunately. Um, my name is Lunger Craft and um, I'll be commentating the match um, after the tournament has already occurred. So I do know the outcome of who won this game um, and so there's a bit of uh, anti-climacticness uh, for me in particular but uh, nevertheless I hope we can I'll talk about this game in an intelligible way and uh, review some of the thought processes behind these two players. Um, and so Ethan and John here are both great players um, in the local area. Ethan is currently, uh, I believe he is currently leading the Kansas City area um, in uh, championship points. And we see both players lock in. Both players are running their um, the same six as they were on their midseason showdown teams. And so with the, for example, the... Um, Z Tailwind on uh, Lugia, the Z move on Gengar as well. Gets, uh, I believe John had uh, Scarf Kyogre. Uh, I don't remember where his Z move was at. Yeah, whatever. You see the Incineroar and Xerneas lead against the uh, Arrow, Arrow Blast spot. <laughs> the Lugia and the Tapu Koko. So we know this Tapu Koko is Assault Death. So the Tapu Koko is not going to be able to do very much to this Xerneas. Uh, the most you can do here is really go for a Nature's Madness, and that would do half, but uh, not really much more than that. The Lugia here is much more pressuring. And we did see no pressure activate, so it is multi-scale Lugia. But nevertheless, it still has access to its Z Tailwind. So Z Tailwind would allow the Lugia to get doubled speed and also boost its critical hit ratio. Because Aero Blast is already a move with high critical hit rate, um, that means it will have guaranteed critical hits. Although Lugia is not very offensive naturally. Uh, nevertheless, for example, if you um, hit the Xerneas for half health, that will definitely knock it out afterwards. And Incineroar here with its fake out pressure is likely to fake out the Lugia. You go for a Geomancy here, although you won't be able to uh, knock out the Tapu Koko immediately. Um, oh, looks like we're having some... This is where the technical difficulties popped in for this round, so... We actually just saw a um, Z Geomancy here. Um, I talked with both players, and they had uh, said that what they went for this turn was... Uh, I don't remember what Tapu Koko went for, but the Lugia did go for the Z Tailwind. As the... Uh, it's in, I guess we'll find out. Uh, based on HP here in a second. Okay, so the Tapu Koko hit, it looks like probably an Electro Web that looks like an Electro Web. And both the Xerneas and the Incineroar looks like, like the appropriate damage for Electro Web. Um, Lugia got us the Z Tailwind. Incineroar opts for the U-turn into the Tapu Koko, and now we see the Smeargle come in. So Smeargle here is in a, a great spot. Uh, let's see what Lily Boost gets. Special Attack Boost and Defense Fall, so... Uh, nothing really of its significance there. Um, Sky Drop will do slightly more damage to the Smeargle now, and Wild Charge will certainly knock it out. So Xerneas has to go for its Z Geomancy here. Um, it is locked into that move, and it doesn't have any other choice. Um, and we do see the Sky Drop into the Smeargle, so an um, Aero Blast here into the uh, into the uh, Xerneas will do a significant amount of damage. We actually see that the Xerneas is faster than the, than the Lugia, which is kind of interesting to me. Um, maybe he didn't go for Z-Tail. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, we actually see the Whirlwind! Oh. <laughs> oh, no. So the Whirlwind into the, uh, into the Xerneas. Um, yeah, there wasn't really anything John could have done about that. Um, unless the Smeargle had fake out. Um, the Sky Drop into the, you know, let's see, let Special Defense Defense fall. Oh, my goodness. So the Sky Drop might even knock out the Smeargle. It's he has that minus two defense. That's hilarious. Um, so because the... Lugia opted for uh, Whirlwind on that turn, and because of the Skydrop, that would have negated any Follow Me pressure. The Xerneas had to go for Geomancy on the second turn, it had no choice otherwise. So, <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, Skydrop does e over half to the Smeargle uh, because of that uh, defense drop. We do see the Arrow Blast into the Smeargle. I'm getting a critical hit on that, so Smeargle gets knocked out. And Kyogre goes for a Psych Up into what was the uh, Spiergle, so trying to take its special defense boosts, I guess? I don't really know. I, I thought it only had, it had special defense and special attack, so he was trying to get... Yeah, actually, that, been, that wouldn't have been too bad. You can send in your Incineroar, go for a fake out, water spout. That wouldn't be so bad, but he ends up uh, uh, losing his Kyogre, so, or he loses, end up losing his Spiergle, so... Uh, it's still not terrible. You can go for, example, um, you can go for Fake Out. Uh, I was going to say you can go for Z Psych Up into the Lugia. Um, that would allow you to gain the critical hit right from the Lugia. 
Um, and then maybe you can do something with that, but this isn't even Z Psych up on the Kyogre, so if it is double Z move, um, he won't have access to that. Uh, the Incineroar here can go for Fake Out, so you can go for like a Fake Out and a Water Spout into the Pep Coco, but if Air Blast is launched at the Kyogre, um, it's unlikely that, especially with the Assault Fest, um, the Tap Coco would be knocked out. So this is a really awkward spot, I think, for John. Ethan seems to be in the driver's seat, and John hasn't done very much damage. Um, we see the Lucia opt for a Protect here. So Protect here is going to guarantee that uh, Bulb Scale isn't broken. We do see the Fake Out into the Tap Coco here, though. So John getting the turn right. We see Ors and Pulse as well, uh, respecting the option for Lugia to go for that uh, Aero Blast attack. But I doubt Origin Pulse will be able to knock out the Tapu Koko. Yeah, it doesn't knock it out. And so now, um, although the Tapu Koko has been intimidated twice, Wild Charge is still going to do a decent chunk. We could go for a Wild Charge and Aero Blast into Kyogre. I doubt that would knock it out, uh, but it doesn't really matter if it doesn't knock it out because you can't really do anything afterwards. I think we've. I believe we've seen all of John's Pokemon. We know that um, his last is that Xerneas without its boost. Oh, and, and I don't know. I, I, I think John's in just such trouble. Uh, we do see the double target in the Kyogre, so John is getting these turns right. Um, a Flare Blitz in the Tapu Koko, even despite the rain because the Incineroar isn't intimidated, I imagine that will knock out Tapu Koko. Yeah, it does. So Tapu Koko going down here. And Incineroar taking a little bit more chip damage. Electric uh, Terrain is gone, but Smeargle is already down, so uh, it should be un unimpactful for the rest of this game. Lugia still having its multi-scale is really important. Um, it means that if you go for some Water Spout at any point, um, then that means the damage is going to be reduced so much. Speaking of Water Spout, <laughs> Kyogre comes in, and I uh, I bet you can figure out what move it's clicking. Uh, you could go for Thunder as well. Thunder wouldn't be an unreasonable play. Thunder into the Kyogre and a Aero Blast, uh, because the Kyogre is protected, um, should do a lot of damage if it doesn't... Uh, if it switches to Xerneas, it will do a lot of damage, but we do just see the Water Spout. Water Spout also does a good chunk of damage. The Aero Blast follow-up attack will also do a good chunk of damage as well. And in order to deal with this Kyogre, uh, you have to throw a Thunder at it. Um, oh, we do see it's Barry Kyogre, so John not quite out of this yet. He doesn't get uh, Ethan doesn't just get to click Water Spout and win the game. We do see that Thunder. Thunder has to go into Kyogre here, or else he'll just... Ah, okay, it does go into the Lugia. If you get a Thought Paralysis here, uh, which he does. Okay, so we did get the paralysis. So like the one out you have is you protect your Xerneas. Well, you might not even have to protect your Xerneas. You might be able to survive the water spot from this range. Let's see how much damage it's already taken. So yeah, it can easily survive the water spot because normally Xerneas, um, in order to be knocked out by a water spot, it already needs a high roll from Kyogre. So because there's no rain, this is going to easily be able to survive. But what you could do is you go for something like uh, probably not the two. Tri you might be able to go for the two-turn Geomancy, but I doubt you're going to win if you pull that off. Uh, you could go for like a Dazzling Gleam and a Thunder into Kyogre, and that'd be pretty good. If Ethan decides to stay in, then he'd be in a really rough spot. Uh, but and we do see the Kyogre stay in, so this isn't going to knock out the Xerneas. Um, oh, it does! because of, Yeah, it must have been a crit yeah, critical hit. Uh, that's an unfortunate critical hit. Uh, I don't think that John was going to be able to win this game uh, without a significant amount of paralyses, but we see the Thunder miss, and the Lugia does get paralyzed, but a little bit too late. Um, although you can uh, Thunder the Kyogre, um, it's trivial for Ethan to just switch out his Kyogre and switch it back in at some time for uh, Thunder to lock up this game. That's what we see him do. So now John, in order to have any hope of winning this game, needs, I think, five consecutive protects in a row. Um, let alone, you have to get so many full paralyses and you have to somehow break through the Amoongus. Um, none of those things happen, and Ethan wins this game. Uh, this is the best of one for the Premier Challenge, so, um, and because uh, there aren't enough Masters here, unfortunately, that means that um, Ethan will be taking this win and also be winning the Premier Challenge, so congratulations to Ethan and also to John. Um, he gets the uh, points from a second place Premier Challenge finish, so good for him. Uh, both these players leaving this weekend with a good chunk of CP. And uh, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you watching and listening to me. This has been Leonard Kraft, and thank you for watching.